Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be rating my fidgets from 1 to 10. 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. To be honest, I never had these kind before, like in stress balls. So I had to for that. But this one is. Comment down below which one is this. So I had to. Like, comment down below. I know that this one right here is the pom pom one. To be honest, I do like these stress balls a lot, so heads up for that. And the last one from this pack is the Hello Kitty one. So I'm reading this pack right here a 9 out of 10. Like, it's a solid 9, nine out of 10. But comment down below if you guys have this pack. Or if you guys have this pack of it. Or if you guys have both. Like I do. I believe that this one is the cinnamon roll. Correct me if I'm wrong with it. So like I said before, I never had the Hello Kitty stress balls before. I never did. So that's like that's why I am like really happy that I basically found it, and I found it at five below, both packs. Out of this pack, comment down below which one is your favorite. My favorite has to be the Hello Kitty and the Seminole. But I am giving this pack a 9 out of 10. But this one, it's like a hard shell a little bit, which that's why I like. So heads up because the ones with like a soft shell always like bend all the time. They're right there. And it's like 
a little bit harder for me to pop. So heads over there. I even got this one, the total one, from Five Below. But I only got two of them from Big Lads, but that's from Five Below. And this one, the total one, has the 80 C's on to it. I believe it does. But I am giving this a solid 10 out of 10. A solid 10 out of 10. I know I have three fries already in my collection so far, but that is one of my favorite puppets of all. It is the fries. I am giving this a 9 out of 10, like 9 out of 10. I was like a little bit shocked when they made out the person one for the pattern. Because I did not know that they made it out. So heads up. But I don't know if this is a person or a robot for it. I am giving this one a 10 out of 10. Because it pops both ways. Like, it straight up do pop both ways. Whenever it wants to. So I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. And yes, I know it's rainbow. So heads up. And I do have like a little bit of rainbow fidgets in my collection. Like I think. I do like rainbow fidgets. Or any bright fidgets, they're good things. So, this one is a solid 10 out of 10 because of both paths on both ends and it's rainbow. But the only part that I dislike about this one right here, like, I don't know if like everyone's gonna agree with me or not, but the outer part is like soft a little bit that you can bend it back and forth and it does not want to pop the like, grain. Right. That's the only part I just like about this popping. But everything else I do like. I was shocked when they made out a puzzle piece one for the popping because I never owned one before until now. But I am planning on getting more puzzle pieces in the future for the poppets. I'm just warning everyone that now. But I am giving this a 10 out of 10 for this poppet. 10 out of 10. I don't know why I got the preferred poppet. Look at there. But I had to get it anyway. Because I really do love poppets. Like, I really do love poppets. And they said that this one... Change color in the sun. I know I did not mention that in the first place, but I never tested that part out yet. This one is like a little bit harder for me to push down 
and all them because like I said before from the outer like outer layer being like soft and all that like really soft and all that like with it and that's the part I kind of just like like with it but besides that I am giving this a 8 out of 10 like 8 out of 10 And I know I have a unicorn poppin that is sparkly and all that in my poppin collection, but I cannot pass this one up. It is in my fair color pink, light pink and dark pink, which that is my fair colors. I am giving this one a 10 out of 10, solid 10 out of 10. I do like the pops, and the outer layer is not that soft like the last one was, and it's like a little bit harder, so I had to. So I wanna say 10 out of 10 for this. And all I have left is two Easter ones that has gum into it, which I am not eating the gum on cam. And heads up, this might take like a little bit for me to open. Like, okay. Here's why, because I have no scissors next to me. So I can open this. By the way, this is a keychain. Pop it. I got this. From Big Lots for only two dollars. And I am giving this a eight out of ten. Like eight out of ten. By the way, the price tag is on this and it was only two dollars at Big Lots. And I did got it they before Easter of this year. So therefore, 8 out of 10 for this Papa keychain. And I only have one left that is Easter edition that I got before Easter of this year in 2024. Once again, I will not be trying the gum in this pack either. They gone cam. I even got this one at Big Lots for two dollars. Also, here is the price tag for this one. And by the way, this is a keychain too. So I am going to give this one a 8 out of 10 as well. But my favorite has to be the two Hello Kitty packs and the puzzle piece one. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.